Ever considered how the world of finance would look if physical money became obsolete? Welcome to the era of cryptocurrency. Picture this, the year is 2009. A mysterious figure named Satoshi Nakamoto steps onto the digital stage, unveiling the blueprint for the world's first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. The concept was simple, yet revolutionary. A decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer network that enables online money transactions. But the world didn't exactly roll out the red carpet for this digital debutante. Let's just say it was met with more raised eyebrows than raised glasses. Skepticism was rife, and understandably so. After all, this was a radical departure from the traditional financial systems we'd come to know. But then came the first Bitcoin transaction. A man named Laszlo Hanyech made history by buying two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins. Yes, you heard that right. 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. That's a lot of dough for a lot of dough, isn't it? At the time, Bitcoin was practically worthless, more of a novelty than a currency. But fast forward to today, and those 10,000 Bitcoins are worth a staggering amount. If you're doing the mental math, I'll save you the trouble. It's a lot. Like, buy your own island, and then some kind of a lot. It's the kind of story that makes you wish you could time travel, right? Maybe snag a few of those Bitcoins when they were just pennies on the dollar. But alas, hindsight is always 2020. The point is, despite the initial skepticism, Bitcoin's value skyrocketed in a way that no one could have predicted. It was a financial revolution, quietly unfolding in the corners of the internet. And as its value soared, so did public interest. Suddenly, this digital currency wasn't just a nerdy curiosity. It was a legitimate investment, a new form of wealth. And just like that, the world was introduced to the concept of digital money. While Bitcoin was making waves, it wasn't alone in the ocean. Enter altcoins. Oh, the world of altcoins. Like a bustling city, full of lights, sounds, and most importantly, possibilities. Our first stop, Litecoin, or as some like to call it, Bitcoin's silver to its gold. Born from the same technology as Bitcoin, Litecoin was like the younger sibling, always trying to outdo its elder brother. It started off small, but soon it reached its all-time high, making many early adopters quite the pretty penny. Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Litecoin had its lows too, but that's the beauty of it, isn't it? One minute you're down, the next you're up. It's like a roller coaster ride, only more thrilling. Next, we have Ethereum, the brainchild of a young computer programmer named Vitalik Buterin. Ethereum brought something new to the table. Smart contracts, it's like a vending machine, but for blockchain. You put something in, you get something out. No middleman, no fuss. Ethereum's all-time high was nothing short of spectacular, like a fireworks display on New Year's Eve. And its lows? Well, let's just say it's a good thing cryptocurrencies don't have feelings. Then there's Ripple, the black sheep of the family. It didn't quite fit the mold. Ripple was more of a technology than a currency, but that didn't stop it from making a splash. Its all-time high was enough to make anyone's jaw drop. And its lows? Well, let's just say they were interesting. These are just a few examples of the myriad of altcoins out there, each one with its own story, its own highs and lows, and its own potential. They're like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And so, the crypto market grew, not just in size, but in diversity. As the saying goes, the more, the merrier. The crypto world took that quite literally. With the rise of altcoins, the stage was set for a crypto boom and it was not long before we saw the entrance of new players like Solana, Polkadot and Cardano. Solana, the high-speed, low-fee blockchain, took the crypto world by storm. It was like the hare from Aesop's fable, except this time it didn't stop for a nap. Its unique architecture, which allows it to process thousands of transactions per second, set it apart from the Bitcoin tortoise and other altcoins. Then there's Polkadot, the multi-chain framework designed to connect different blockchains into one unified network. It's like the United Nations of crypto. Different nations, one platform. Polkadot's interoperability feature marked a significant departure from the isolated operation of Bitcoin and other altcoins. Last but definitely not least, we have Cardano. This blockchain platform, grounded in peer-reviewed research, is like that overachiever in your class who always does their homework. Cardano's unique two-layer structure for separate settlement and computation layers brought a new level of sophistication to the crypto scene. 
these new cryptocurrencies not only added to the volume, but also diversified the crypto landscape. They brought in unique features, differentiating themselves from Bitcoin and earlier altcoins, thus expanding the possibilities and potential of what crypto could be. Crypto was no longer a single entity, but a universe of its own. What if I told you you could get a piece of this crypto pie for free? Yes, you heard that right. Welcome to the world of airdrops and potential projects, where dreams of owning cryptocurrencies can indeed come true without even a penny's investment. Airdrops, in the simplest terms, are like free gifts from the crypto heavens. They're a way for blockchain projects to distribute free tokens to the holders of a certain cryptocurrency. It's like a tech company giving away their latest gadgets to their loyal customers, but it's all happening in the digital realm. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone give away something for free, especially something as valuable as a cryptocurrency? Well, it's a win-win situation. The distributing company gets the buzz and user base they need for their new projects, while you get to hold on to these tokens, often without having to invest your own money. But here's the best part. Holding on to these free tokens can be like planting a seed for a money tree. Remember when Bitcoin was just a few cents? Imagine if you had held on to a few of those free Bitcoins back then. Today, you could have been a millionaire. In the world of crypto, a free token today could be your ticket to fortune tomorrow. So, keep your eyes peeled for these airdrops and potential projects. You never know when you might catch a golden ticket. So, what's next in this crypto journey? Well, only time will tell. But one thing is clear, cryptocurrencies have the potential to revolutionize finance. They could transform how we conduct transactions, democratize access to financial services, and introduce novel methods of raising capital. They could even challenge traditional financial systems. But they also come with their own set of risks and challenges. Thus, it's a thrilling ride into the unknown. In the world of cryptocurrency, the possibilities are as vast as the universe itself.